don't know if you guys will recognize this location from last year's uh, Coming In Hot Tennessee episode. But it's the same location that I started that episode. Apparently, they've had some flooding and it washed away the landing here. A bunch of big trees and uh, the water's a little bit up. If you, if you didn't already figure it out, we're in Tennessee again. My first day here in Tennessee, I got about a week down here to hunt. And I was hoping to put in right here this morning and get upstream about a mile. I got a spot there I wanted to hunt. I figured it'd be uh, less hunting pressure up that way, less access from other hunters. So there might be some turkeys around, but uh, I don't know, I'm waiting for it to get light just so I can see the full extent of the current right now because the river is up a little bit. And I'm listening for goblin. I already saw a few trucks parked up the road. So there's some hunters in here. This is a, a Monday, a weekday, so I don't know with that virus thing going around, a lot of people out of work, it might be some more hunting pressure than it was last year. But I'm gonna let it get light here and see if I can get my kayak in the water without drowning. And if I can get upstream, I think I can get around the back side of this current here on the other side against the bank over there. And I might be able to get upstream that way. So I just want to be safe and wait till daylight. Thought I heard a gobble while I was paddling, so I pulled over to stop and listen for a little bit. My initial thought was it came from upstream somewhere. Yep, just gobble. Let's get on the move. So this is where I think he might be. There's a sheer cliff right here. And there's a field up on top. And then there's a valley up this way. So I think he's either, when he gobble, I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold on to a log here to keep from floating downstream. I'd mark this spot on the map, that valley, because it kind of tapers up and you can get up on the top here. And then around the curve, there's a little point with a flat top in the woods. And I know turkeys like those type of areas, so I think he's up in here somewhere. I'm gonna slip up here in this little valley and then make some calls and see if I can uh, get him to gobble. That wall tapers down right here. I can just peek over. Kind of hit a call, see where the birds are at. These woods are pretty. Look at that view. That's where you want to take a picture of a dead gobbler. This is where I want to do it. Now I just need to kill the gobbler. I'm gonna follow this deer trail. It weaves back right up through there. And try to get up on a flat or something to face that way. And just uh, work this gobbler for a little while and see what he's gonna do. I just heard something over here calling. I didn't hear enough of it to tell whether it's a real hen or, or a hunter yelping. That sounded like it came from behind me.
Yeah, we got a hunter up there calling. He must be in that field. Yep. 100% hunter. I'm gonna slip on out of here and give him some room. We got some old scratching in here, but nothing real fresh. So this is just a sliver of public here that follows this creek and it's wrapped in private, of course. I heard a bird gobble while I was sitting down listening. Way back that way, past where that hunter was calling. And then I heard one across the river on private. And they're so far away, I'm not even gonna entertain the thought of trying to get on. Plus they've got a hunter up here, I don't wanna mess him up. So I'm gonna just walk real slowly up through here. It goes quite a ways. And just hit a call every once in a while and see if I can strike one. And if not, I'll come back, grab, jump in the kayak and go upstream to another spot that I have marked. A little bit fresher scratching here. So we got a little field up top, it's on private. Public just goes right to the top of this hill where we can kind of see the skyline. So we got this nice open area here and I can see the other hillside. And what I'm about to do is do a blind sit because I need a break. And I'll give you guys a little, little backstory on, on why I need a break. So I worked yesterday morning, got up at 5 a.m., went to work. I worked till noon. I left work and I drove all afternoon and into the night and I got to Tennessee at about 2, 2 a.m. this morning. I got to sleep around 2.30 and I got up at 4.15. So what is that? An hour and 45 minutes sleep in the past 30 hours or 28 hours, whatever it is. So. I'm gonna put my Jake decoy out, and I'm gonna call a little bit, and I'm gonna probably doze off. And I'm gonna wake up to a gobbler in front of me, or I'm gonna wake up to a gobbler, or I'm gonna wake up and the gobbler's already beat up the decoy and gone, so. Four turkeys just flew over. There's some clucking waking me up. Up on the ridge and then a short time later. Three turkeys flew over and then a single flew over short short time after that. It looked like they were all here. Bird gobbling down here.
get closer. Like they're down at the kayak. I haven't heard them gobble in a little while now. So they just gobble farther away. And I'm wondering if a, a hunter created this situation, another hunter. Because I was taking a nap and I heard clucking or some soft putting. Really couldn't tell the difference. It sounded like a, a nervous hen cluck. And she was up that way. It sounded like she was almost at, like she was in a tree or something. I wasn't sure. But she was up, up high. And a few minutes later, three birds flew over. And then a single flew over, and they looked like they were all hens. I started calling, because they, they landed up here above me. And I started hearing some yelping and some Jake yelps back here to my left. And then I hear a goblin, and the goblin gets closer. And then the yelping's carrying on. I think they were just kind of regrouping, almost like a, a fall uh, scatter. I think something busted up a, a flock, and, and the flock was getting back together. And that's why all the talking now they kind of drifted farther away. And I'm not sure if they're on this side of the river. They gotta be on this side of the river. It's too, it's, it's not far enough away to be on the other side. But I guess uh, I'll start slipping that way. I'll take a look at the map first before I, before I head that way though. So I'm gonna hit this creek down here and follow along and use the, the hill there as cover try and get closer to these birds. See if I can pinpoint this bird better. Because it does drop off to a little flat along the edge of the river here. So he could be there, but I think it's over here on the private. Let's just hope he'll gobble for me. for me. You know what? He sounded pretty far off. That little spot last year that I hunted, that little little island, that little flat, is straight down that way. I could get on that side and maybe that'll work them down there to me. The spot I want to go is right there around the curve and I figured the birds were right in here somewhere. But somebody's up there bush hogging right now. I just hope the turkeys made it by before they started bush hogging because I didn't hear the tractor earlier. I'm hoping they just started and the birds had already got by. That's going to put it dangerously close to where I'm going. We'll just have to slip up there and hit a few calls and see what happens. I was mistaken. This is the flat right here. Private land starts right about there and that's where he was working with the tractor. So there ain't going to be no turkeys on this little flat. Hmm. What to do? I have to come up with a different plan. I'm going back in there where I where I hunted this morning. It's just past three o'clock now. 
I went and dropped off the kayak, kayak so it would, no risk of it getting stolen off the top of my truck. And uh, I found an access point, a little narrow strip, and it widens up, but it's a long ways back in there to get to where I was at this morning. And that's kind of why I was using kayak, but the, the river's so high and current so swift that I didn't want to take that route anymore. I'd rather walk farther than to paddle through all that current. Anyway, I'm gonna hunt my way back in there. I'm gonna, obviously, I'm gonna stay here until uh, fly up. Uh, because I'm gonna try and roost some birds. I think they're gonna be uh, roosting in that area. I heard that gobble early this morning up in that valley. And then I heard a hunter shoot. Uh, so I think he kind of busted up the flock and they ended up across the river. But I'm, I'm betting either them or some other birds are gonna be in the area. But I'm gonna hunt my way back in there and hopefully I strike a bird. And if I kill one, I don't know, I'm probably gonna stay back here till dark and try to roost another one for tomorrow. But anyway, I'm gonna slip in here and see if I can round up a gobbler. I go right this gobbled. Bird just gobbled. For sure. Alright, let's move up that way. Thick in here. I just hope he's not in that field where he can see me. up that way. What I figured would happen, he's up there in that field in the private. Probably got hands with him. Gave me a few courtesy gobbles. And that's it. Or, or the hens didn't want another hen around and they wandered off with him. I'd much rather have been in a situation where he had gobbled on his own and not heard it instead of me calling and getting him to gobble. Usually when they gobble on their own like that, they're, they're searching. Anyway, I'll give it a few more minutes and then I'm not going to waste a bunch of time on this bird. I know where he's at. I'm going to swing around this point to the other side of the field and there's the public wraps around it. There's a nice ridge there. And that's probably where I'll end up for the evening and then try to roost birds. I'm almost to where I was at this morning. I heard the goblin back over that way, but private lands up here that gobbler I heard earlier about an hour ago was back over that way I've wrapped around to the other side of them up that way on the satellite images it looks like there's some big mature oaks or hardwoods so I'm gonna work my way that way but I wanted to hit a call right here real quick to see if anything gobbles around
they work in this, these woods over pretty good. I'm finding fresh uh, scratching everywhere I go. I also found some uh, boot tracks, but I think it's the same boots that I saw on the other side. They, they're doing the same thing I did, but I'm hoping it was from the weekend and not this morning. I saw boot tracks down there in the creek this morning, probably the same ones. Probably hunt, they knew this area had birds and they probably hunted it pretty good this weekend. This much ground as they covered from the judging from the boot prints. They didn't just come in here and kill one off the roost. Well, they may have, maybe they came in to try and get a second one. Who knows, but anyway. The birds love these woods. Look at this scratching. Look at all this scratching. They love these woods. Getting desperate, I pulled out the jake yelp. <laughs> Thought I heard a gobble before I turned the camera on. Of course, when I turned the camera on, nothing gobbles. Maybe it wasn't a gobble I heard. I'll turn the camera off again, that way I'll hear something. All right, those birds are gobbling. I'd say pretty good. Every, every so often they gobble once or twice. Then they go quiet for a little bit. So I'm gonna walk over here as far as I can, basically to the cliff edge and uh, try to pinpoint these birds. They're gobbling off in that direction. And the river's kind of like right here somewhere. So I don't know if they're on that side or that side. So somewhere in that area, they're gobbling. And that's why I wanna pinpoint them, see if they're on private or public. See if we can pinpoint these gobblers. Straight that way. I think that's on public. I don't know. Man. The river shore looks like it goes. That's tough. Somebody just hooted back to me.
and gobble back there. Whole pile of geese just jumped in the water. Let me see if I can pinpoint this guy. Well, seeing as this one is on this side, I'm gonna get closer and see if I can fine tune his location. lip right here. It's hard to see the camera there's a little lip and we'll get below it. So basically what we're gonna do is sit here until they fly up and see if they fly up on that side or this side. There's public on that side and public on this side. I hope they come to this side. Then I might have to sit till it's hard to slip out of here. And in the morning, depending on where they roost, I might have to somehow get in front of them between them and the private. Alrighty, we got a bird roosted, but he's he's just barely on public, about 40 yards or so. So I can't get him between him and the private boundary. So what I'm gonna do is get parallel to him, and I'm gonna get in there real early in the morning. I'm gonna put a Jake decoy out so that I've, he'll have something visually to look at, and uh, hopefully he'll pitch down to it instead of going out into the field. There's lots of scratching in the woods, so maybe they'll pitch down in the woods, but. We'll see how tomorrow morning goes, when well, at least we got one roosted. Killer! What's wrong, you blind? <laughs> mm-hmm, yeah. I hear you've been slaying Blind from all the shooting I've been doing. I know, your, your arm's probably bruised. You got a right there. The killers, I hear you. You ain't got three, three now? Uh, three in Tennessee, yeah. Oh, sweet. Oh, so you got four total? Yeah. Nice. I got four tags left in Alabama. So. You going back? Yeah, if I, yeah, I, yeah, I'm going back at this rate. <laughs> I, got, I got one roost, roosted the season, but I didn't do any good the rest of the day. You got one roosted? Yeah, I've, he roosted about 60 yards from me. I've got video of him sitting up in the tree just hammering the whole evening until dark. and mm. He was still gobbling as I walked out at dark. He's a dead, he's a dead well, bird if he yeah. flies down, right? It's tricky. He's about 40 yards on the public. He came out of a little field that's just wrapped around public. Wrapped, you know, it's wrapped in public. My fear is he'll just pitch out a tree and land in that little field. I can get up there about... 60 yards from from him but parallel to the property line and then to put a jake decoy out there so he can see it yeah that might and be. that might be enough to have him drop it now they're scratching all in the woods so he may just uh they may be coming in the woods anyway i can't imagine they sitting in a, in a field all freaking day pecking it was hot today I, yeah i mean they gotta be up in the shade at some point so what'd you do all day i saw you got your bird this morning yeah I did a little bit of fishing and mostly just relaxed. Oh, gotcha. it was, we had good weather.